running up the street one way and one running uh, the other way. So whatever is happening right now, this is an active situation. Understood. And, and, Peter, we, and we are looking at a, we're looking at a parking lot in the near ground, uh, and there are cars there, several of them, and there's a large red brick building in the background. Right. I, so is that I'm your view, too? The, yes, I'm standing in the back corner of that parking lot, and again, we're seeing, it's almost like you would see with a presidential motorcade uh, with a lot of men on motorcycles with the sirens going, except they are going fast, and they are trying to get us back as far away as uh, as they can. But uh, as every every minute, we're seeing multiple different uh, agencies responding. They've all got the sirens on. Everybody that you can think of is here. And now, uh, in the back corner, there are a lot of bystanders coming here, including some in military uniform, people who would work here at the Navy Yard. Uh, and they want to know what's going on, but whatever it is, it, it, it's intense. It is, it is pretty chaotic right now, Bill. Peter Smartha uh, here, and just for everybody who's tuning in, what we are watching is the Washington Navy Yard, where this morning there was a report of three shots fired. And from everything that we can gather from here, from our sources and on, on Twitter, Peter, and all of the other uh, outlets that we're looking at right now, this continues to be an active situation. The way that you're describing it sounds like uh, they're not sure w exactly where this might be coming from or what areas they might need to cover at this point. Is that, is that accurate? Uh, that's perfectly accurate, Martha. Uh, it is it is something where driving in, as we were coming closer, there were a lot of, uh, that we saw multiple different ambulances, motorcycles, and police cruisers whizzing by us as fast as they could. They were honking their horns. They were trying to get here as fast as they could. And while it does appear that they have one, uh, one street, this would be M Street that runs alongside the Navy Yard, if you are looking at the map. M Street is where the most police activity, fire activity, ambulance activity is right now. But the entire area around, we've got officers going in all different directions. Right now, I'm looking at some people on their way to work, and an unmarked car with sirens blaring is just weaving in and out. There are people walking. There are people driving. And in the middle of it, these officers are responding. They're trying to figure out where this active shooter is. It is very scary. So, Peter, give everybody a sense. We're looking at a map on the right-hand side of the screen here, which shows the Washington Navy Yard. Give folks at home and across the country a sense of where this is in relationship to the Capitol, the White House. Uh, well, our office, our Washington Bureau, Martha, it took us about seven or eight minutes to drive here. Uh, and so well, we're right near the Capitol. So well, if I wasn't obstructed by a big building here on the right of this parking lot, I would be able to see the Capitol. I can see the Washington Monument. There's a lot of residential stuff around here. Uh, we're not too far away from the, where the Washington Nationals play, uh, Washington Nationals baseball. And again, uh, the area really what appears to be, uh, and it's also very scary looking right now on a Monday, it's, uh, all the police activity is sandwiched in between the Navy Yard building and a playground. So, again, we don't know what the scene was here almost an hour ago, but there would have been a 